guys a brushless Trius compatible buggy with no speed claims? They exist. Stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, in today's video we've got a very special car to look at. I know this car doesn't look special, but this is the first RC car with no speed claims. Yes, you heard it right. So in the advertisement and onto the box there is no speed claim at all, which is a good thing. So this is an AliExpress special and I buy a lot of cars on AliExpress. And they always advertise, you know, with 80 km an hour and they will do like half of that, you know. But this car has got no speed claims, which is a good thing. So this car will run on the 2S and the 3S LiPo batteries and I saw a lot of similar similarities with WI toys so therefore I need to have it so let me get everything out of the box so I can show you what's inside there Inside the box you will find an awesome looking buggy, just look at this guys, this thing really looks amazing. So we've got a transmitter, some instructions, a USB charger, some tools and we've got a unique battery. So this is a 2S 1500mAh hard case battery and the design looks pretty interesting. So let me put this one on charge and then let's have a closer look at the transmitter. This is the transmitter and it runs on 3 AA's which you need to supply of your own. So it's all made of plastic and the build quality feels okay but the design it is not really my thing. So it is capable of and steering but yeah the controls uh, I don't like it very much so this is your on off switch we've got the steering fin the steering duro rate and the throttle duro rate and yeah that's all to say about it so let's have a closer look at the car now and here is the car guys what do you think of it well appearance wise I think that this car really looks amazing just look at it man we even got some driver figures inside there we've got some LEDs on the top of here you know LEDs in the front bumper this thing really looks awesome and I really like the matte black that they have used so appearance wise we've got a thumbs up already so the first thing that I noticed when I pulled this out of the box are the sharks so we have got simple friction sharks you know why put simple friction shark in a car which has got metal gears metal drive you have ball bearings, a brushless setup, you know, why do you want to have friction shock? So that's a big downside in my opinion. So in the front of the car you will find a plastic front bumper with some LEDs mounted inside there. Like I mentioned we've got some metal drive shaft over here, we've got metal cups, we've got ball bearings throughout in this car. So that's a, that is a good thing. So when we turn the car around you can see a lot of similarities with WL Toys. And when I look at the design I think that this car has been made at the WL Toys factory. So which is a good thing you know W Outdoors makes awesome cars which has got a very decent quality so therefore the build quality should be all fine with this car in the rear of the car you will find the plastic bumper sitting right over there and behind there you will find the wheelie bar which has got some adjustability. So we've got some metal cups right over there, metal dark bones and that's always a good thing and the arms are made from a very flexible material. Just look at this guys and I always say I like those flexible plastics you know. So if you're hitting an obstacle you know normally this just flexes a little bit and doesn't break very easily. So therefore I like the flexible ones instead of the very stiff ones so therefore thumbs up. So let me get the body off and show you what's under there underneath the body you will find all the magic just look at this guys this looks pretty promising and i really like all the orange details which they have added to this car so styling wise it's a thumbs up and the build quality this car looks pretty for solid you know this car has got not a lot of flex inside the sassy so that's always a good thing so this is your 50 amp 2 in 1 receiver ec combination and we've got a 3 wire servo sitting right over there with a servo saver mounted on there so your brushless motor is a 28 47 4000 kv so that's all fine for a car of that size you know so your battery will just drop in place like that just close it up lock it up and then you're all good to go so the build quality looks pretty promising like i mentioned we've got metal gears metal drive shaft you know ball bearings throughout so everything looks pretty solid so far so let me throw in some batteries and show you when it's on 
The car is powered on it, just look at the light guys, this looks amazing right? So the steering servo has got plenty of speed and power wise, well we don't have got any power, just look at this guys. So yeah, that's a big downside, so throttle wise this is full throttle. And that looks pretty decent, so we're going to run it on the standard battery and on a Trius LiPo battery, so let's take it outside. So guys we're outside and the first thing that we're going to do we're going to speed run it. So I installed the standard 2S LiPo battery so let's see how fast this car is. So here we go. Whoa this car is pretty lively. So let's give it a couple of runs. With the standard 2S LiPo battery we hit the 40 km an hour, so that's a pretty decent speed, but now let's throw in the 3S LiPo. So guys I gave it a couple of runs and we hit the 62 km an hour. So that's a pretty decent speed for a car of this size, but it's a bit tricky to drive this car, especially when it goes that fast, you know. Uh, but the brakes on this car are just terrible. So trying to brake, you know, that's just uh, yeah terrible. And I crashed it a couple of times while doing so. But you know, this car is pretty fast, so let's take it a run. So guys, I've been driving this car around for a couple of minutes now and I must say this thing is pretty fun to drive. It is a bit hard to control. This is the 3S battery that I have uh, placed inside the car and it's, it's got a lot of power on 3S, especially here in the gravel. But it's pretty fun to drive and yeah, the shocks, yeah, I don't like the shocks, you know, it just bounces around. If you're just going over, yeah, a, a slight bump or something, you know, you really can see the bumpiness and yeah, I really don't like that. But overall, this car is pretty fast and it's pretty durable as well. But you know, it's, yeah, a full throttle, you know, it's going all over the place on 3S, as you can see. So on the gravel, I think like the 2S standard battery is just enough for this car. But if you want to do some speed runs, for example, or on the grass, you know, then the 3S can really be fun, I think. But here on the gravel, it's a bit too much, I think. But you know, still this car, uh, yeah, for 110 bucks, I think it was, I paid. I think it's a pretty decent car with some decent electronics inside there. Yeah, so far, I really like this car. Only, yeah, still, you know, the sharks, uh, I hate the sharks, but... Here we go, see? Yeah, I think I like this car. So for now I will just give you some driving footage and then I will come back to you with my final thoughts about this car. So guys, that was the driving with this car, and what do we think of it? Well, appearance-wise, I really do like this car. Just look at it, man, it really looks tough, and I really like the matte black-red combination, the minifigures, the lighting system inside there. This thing really looks awesome, in my opinion. So performance-wise, I also like it. So I paid around 110 bucks, I think it was, so I'll put the link down below so you can check it out for yourself. And for the money, I think that you will get a very decent car. We hit some decent speeds, you know, the driveline is all fine. I crashed it 
like a million of times and it's still in one piece nothing broke on me so yeah for the money i think that this is a pretty good car also the electronics did a pretty good job so with this setup this is the 3s lipo battery we hit the 62 kilometers an hour and that's a pretty decent speed so is it perfect well it's not perfect one thing what i really hate about this car are the shocks and i totally don't understand why why they make a car like this which is a pretty decent car and they just put simple friction start shocks instead of the oil shock so if you buy this car yeah i really suggest to upgrade these to four oil shocks because it bounces around now and i really don't like that another thing is the steering servo so the steering servo lacks a bit of power so i really suggest to upgrade that one as well but overall for the money i think that this is a pretty decent car and i really like it all right guys that was it for today thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you get any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video bye bye